Hello, my name is Larissa, a registered veterinary technician and certified canine rehabilitation practitioner with the Aurora Animal Care Center. Today, I would like to take you on a walkthrough of a step-by-step -step tibial plateau leveling osteotomy, also known as a TPLO. A patient service team member will admit your pet the morning of surgery. The veterinarian will perform a pre-anesthetic examination of your pet and review his or her current medical record. Pre-anesthetic blood work will be performed to ensure your pet is a healthy and safe candidate for surgery. Each anesthetic protocol is tailored specifically for your pet. The sedation will be administered which will allow us to use less anesthetic medications during the procedure. After the sedation has taken effect, we will place an IV catheter. The IV catheter allows intravenous access throughout the surgery and IV fluids are administered also. After the IV catheter is placed, the patient will receive an induction so the patient will be ready for intubation. An endotracheal tube will be placed that allows us to deliver oxygen as well as a gas anesthetic through his or her trachea and into the lungs. This will help maintain general anesthesia. We lubricate your pet's eyes while they are under anesthesia as they are unable to blink. Your pet is hooked up to the following anesthetic monitoring devices. The electrocardiogram ECG gives a real-time view of your pet's heart rate and heart rhythm. A cardiography anesthetic monitor provides an end tidal CO2 value and respiratory rate. The cardiograph also provides a wavelength for every breath. Capnometers provide an end tidal CO2 value and respiratory rate. Changes in rate and tidal volume give an indication of appropriate oxygenation and respiration. We use an esophageal temperature sensor to monitor your pet's temperature during anesthesia. To ensure that your pet stays warm during this procedure, we use a thermoregulation unit. A blood pressure cuff is placed to monitor systolic, mean, and diastolic readings. A pulse oximetry with a lingual probe is placed on your pet's tongue. This is a non-invasive way to measure saturation of oxygen bound to hemoglobin, SpO2. A veterinary nurse will be right beside your pet monitoring vitals during the procedure and recovery. The hair is clipped from the surgical site and the skin is surgically prepped using chlorhexidine scrub and isopropyl alcohol. The veterinarian places surgical drapes to isolate the surgery site. A right or left medial approach to the proximal tibia was performed to complete a tibial plateau leveling osteotomy for cranial cruciate ligament disease. A cardiomedial arthrotomy was performed to release and debride the medial meniscus. A jig was placed using two pins for precise orientation of the osteotomy from the proximal tibia. The tibial osteotomy was rotated and secured with a specialized plate and six to eight screws. The jig was removed followed by a local lavage and a routine closure to the skin. Directly after surgery, we will perform post-operative x-rays. After the TPLO, we will remove the endotracheal tube once the patient has regained their ability to swallow, among other reflexes. In the recovery phase, we trim your pet's nails and continue to monitor by checking vitals like pulse, temperature, and respiration. Your pet will continue to be monitored until he or she goes home with you. We will send home post-operative rehabilitation information and in-clinic rehabilitation will start in two weeks post-operative. At eight weeks post-operative, we will retake x-rays to ensure healing. This concludes the walkthrough of your pet's TPLO procedure. Please contact us with any questions. Thank you.